Welcome to the F5 Networks, Advanced Web Application Firewall, Demo Series. In this demo, we'll show how to use a big IP advanced web security policy, to block a credential stuffing attack, where malicious users acquire a list of stolen credentials, containing thousands of usernames, and passwords, and attempt to gain unauthorized access to web applications. Before watching this demo, we recommend you watch Big IP Advanced Web Demo Number 28, which covers configuration of a login page element, and enabling brute force protection for attacks targeting the same username, using a CAPTCHA challenge. Demo 29, which covers enabling brute force protection for attacks targeting the same username, using client-side integrity. And Demo 30, which covers enabling brute force protection for attacks targeting multiple of usernames from the same source IP address. This is Demo 47 of the AWEF Demo Series, and it's intended for advanced level big IP advanced WEF users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to submit brute force attack requests, using a stolen list of usernames and passwords. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the backend web application. Big IP Advanced WEF contains a database of known, stolen user credentials. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request, and can identify when a threshold of stolen credentials have been attempted, and can block all credential stuffing attempts and prevent them from going to the backend web servers. A malicious user has acquired a stolen list of usernames and passwords. Knowing that most users use the same username, password combination, for every web application they use, the malicious user is going to use this file to identify if any of these leaked credentials can be used on the Hackazon web application. We'll use a tool named Sentry MBA to submit the credential stuffing attack. Notice that this tool is already configured with the Hackazon login page, user slash login. We'll open the text file containing the stolen user credentials. We'll now run the credential stuffing attack. We can monitor the attack's progress as it continues through the entries in the list. Eventually, several leaked username, password combinations have been found as successful, for the Hackazon web application. Notice that one of the usernames that we've discovered, appears to be for a Hackazon website administrator. We'll now try and log into the Hackazon web application using this administrator account. Through the credential stuffing attack, the malicious user discovered several web application users that use their same credentials for the Hackazon web application, including an administrator's credentials. Let's examine the virtual server we've been attacking. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.43. On the virtual server security policies page, you can see that we already have a security policy attached to this virtual server named 42 stuffing security policy. Let's examine the advanced WEF event log. First, we'll filter the log file to show only successful logins. We can quickly see which usernames were discovered during this credential stuffing attack. We'll change the filter and show only failed logins. We can also see how many attempted login requests failed and the usernames that were attempted.
We'll delete all the log entries. We'll now protect this web application against credential stuffing attacks. We'll open the brute force attack prevention page. And select the existing brute force configuration. We already configured brute force protection for the user slash login page before we started this demo. However, we only included protection for attacks coming from the same IP address. In the distributed brute force protection section, we'll select to enable detecting credential stuffing. And we'll also configure a threshold of 40 failed login attempts. For mitigation options, Big IP Advanced WEF can present the user with a CAPTCHA challenge, or perform a client-side integrity check. After 40 failed login attempts, that match known stolen credentials, within the detection period of 60 minutes, we'll select the Alarm and CAPTCHA challenge option, and then save, and apply the policy. We'll start the brute force attack once more. After about 5 seconds, the word list position stops. Only one username and password combination has been discovered. Remember, we configured the mitigation to begin after 40 failed login attempts. We'll now use Firefox to access the Hackazon web application and then log in as a valid user. We're presented with a CAPTCHA challenge. We'll enter the CAPTCHA challenge, which is case sensitive. Non malicious users can continue to access the web application, even during a credential stuffing attack. In the event log, we'll view only successful logins. There was only one successful login during the credential stuffing attack. This log entry was generated when we entered the correct CAPTCHA challenge. We'll now view the failed logins. These log entries were generated before we hit the threshold of 40 failed logins, and the CAPTCHA challenge mitigation began. We can also filter the log file, to view only challenged requests. There were nearly 2000 challenged requests. Notice the enforcement action is CAPTCHA. These are the requests from Sentry MBA that were sent the CAPTCHA challenge, but failed to submit a challenge response. You can see from this icon, that these are indeed challenged log entries. We've decided to change the mitigation we're using, for detected credential stuffing attacks. Instead of a CAPTCHA challenge, we'll use the alarm and client-side integrity option. This will cause Big IP Advanced Web to send a browser JavaScript challenge to the client. If the client request is unable to respond to the JavaScript challenge, the request will fail. We'll start the brute force attack again. Once again, after about 5 seconds, the word list position stops. We'll once again use Firefox to access the Hackazon web application and log in as a valid user. Notice it takes a couple seconds for the page to load. This is because Firefox is being challenged by Big IP Advanced WEF. However, the Firefox web browser successfully passes the JavaScript challenge. Let's view the Big IP Advanced WEF brute force attacks log. This page contains extensive details about credential stuffing attacks, including the number of detected failed logins the number of detected login attempts, and the mitigation method. The login stress value is a health measure function of the current failed logins 
and detection threshold. A high value identifies that the login URL is definitely under attack. We can select any of the past attacks or the ongoing attack to view additional details. In the detection statistics section, we can see the number of failed logins versus the configured threshold the total number of detected login attempts and the number of login attempts that match the big IP advanced WEF credential dictionary versus the configured threshold. And finally, in the mitigation statistics section, we can see the mitigation method that was used when the attack started and ended. And, in this case, the total number of client-side integrity challenges Thank you for watching this demonstration on using a big IP advanced WEF security policy to block credential stuffing attacks. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, and for more details on how advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Network's sales account manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.